everybody. So here your instructor for this seated exercise. Um, I hope you're well. Uh, for this uh, exercise we have just got the seat today. Um, no other equipment. Nice um, floor space being around you so that you've got nothing cluttering you up. Um, do what you can. Have some water on hand as well. Um, take your breaks if you need them. Try and do what you can. You can always do this video again as well um, if you enjoy it that much. Um, uh, and if you're new to exercise, you haven't exercised for quite some time, do be mindful that you know what what you can do. Uh, don't overstretch yourself. If you've got any um, conditions that you're worried about, I would say to you seek some medical advice first before you start undertaking any new exercises but it's fairly safe this uh, this uh, exercise session so say it's seated and there's nothing high impact so give it a go and see how you feel and at least you've done your little bit and i'm hoping that you'll feel better for it so as i say my name is sue and i'm going to guide you through this session i'm sitting at a slightly odd angle that's so that you can see my feet moving because if I sit straight on um, it's not a particularly good view. Okay so we're going to start with the warm-up but before we do that I want you to just think about your posture even when we're seated we're not going to be slumping or anything like that. Um, we're going to move away from the back of our chair nice and upright get those shoulders down relax that chin's parallel to the floor tummy in feet nice and evenly contacted on the floor Make sure everything's supported. Now, if you do need to have a little bit of rest, I don't mind you taking yourself back and just having a pause and then join back in when you're ready. Um, but do join back in. Don't sit there for a, sort of the whole session. I'd like to see you doing a little bit of something. So um, uh, just join in when, when you're ready. So think about your posture. And as you're thinking about that posture, we're going to do a little bit of work on our neck and shoulders. So we're going to go into those shoulder shrugs. So taking your shoulders up towards your ears. Now, I won't always be looking straight ahead. You look straight ahead. Um, I, as I say, I'm on an angle to the camera, so um, I have to look at it every so often. So two more. Up we go. Chest open. And last one. Give me some shoulder rolls back. Nice and controlled. Two more, back, back we go, winding those shoulders around, nice and controlled. Now we're going to take them forward, same thing, forward, control them around, feel the whole shoulder blade moving as you do, and this is the last one. And then just take your arms out, I just want you to stretch your fingers out and clench, stretch and clench a few times, so we've got Another three of those, stretch, clench, stretch, clench. And then just taking those arms out to the side now, I'm too close to the window. Small circles, forwards. And small circles back. And then hands on your shoulders. Keep those uh, elbows just slightly lower than shoulder level and do me some little circles. Circles forward. Another three, and then circle back. Just remember as well, keeping your back nice and long and straight, and take your hands down to one side. But you really, really do need to be straight when you do this. We're going to take ourselves down to one side. So we'll try not to lean forward or backwards. Stretching it down, bringing it back up. You'll see me better on this side, so I'm taking, reaching down, just sideways. With a creaky chair, it's not me, I've become, although I do creak sometimes. One more each side. And up we come, still nice and tall, upper body, trunk rotation, so this stays nice and still, facing forward, the rotation is from your waist up little pause in the middle and to the other side nice and gently don't force it around so keep it moving we're now trying to move and keep 
that trunk nice and still, but we're trying to get the blood circulating, get that spine and that upper back, um, the blood flowing. So this is what we're trying to do, warm ourselves up. Right, okay, gonna go to a march now. So we're gonna up the ante a little bit. Marching, chair march, purposeful march. So really, really, really get the blood flowing. So if you can, take it out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. I'm making you think a little bit about this now. Think about it and then back to a march. Back to a march. And I should do some fast feet, so it's like a very, very fast march. So just give me a few seconds, pump your arms, so that'll really get the blood flowing. Five, four, three, two, one, and keep those legs moving, don't stop. Now if you feel you're catching in the groin, which very often a chair march will do, um, you can do side steps as an alternative just to release um, this area here because it can be a little bit of a strain just make sure that you're sitting nice and upright first move for forward toe taps straight up away from the back of the chair if you want to hold on to the side of the chair that's fine um, feet together and we're going to tap it forward and tap it back so here we go try and keep the upper body nice and stable the tapping, the toes, the legs are the only things that are moving. So if you go a little bit faster, just as fast as you can, you can feel, whew, you might start to feel dark and feel that now, and your heart's going a little bit faster. And you're gonna bring it back down. Just take it back down to a march. Or side steps. Side steps, that's fine. Just to release off. And let's pull, pull down. Let's do something with our arms. Can't have our arms redundant. <laughs> and then take it to a pull back. Side taps or a march, whichever you prefer. Just keep it moving. And then pull forward and back as if you're rowing. You've got your oars. Row it. Moving all of the limbs at the same time, you will feel um, that you're working quite a bit harder. And four, three, two, one, and just back to a march. Okay, pause, a little pause. Nice and tall, upright. I'm gonna take a leg out and it's gonna bend six times. So it looks like this, holding onto the side of the chair, nice and upright, and taking the leg out, it's gonna bend. I'm not touching the floor. Take it back to the same level, the bend is at the knee. Three, four, five, nice and upright, five, six. You feel that in your leg? So a little pause, we're gonna do exactly the same thing with the other leg, so off it comes, it's gonna go straight and bend, not touching the floor, straight. done four already so well done stay with it one more and down we go you feel that so um, you can do two sets of those when you get used to it so we've only done one one set of six um, or you can try eight first and then take it up to another lot have a little pause and then eight so Feet close together, still nice and upright, flat on the floor, but now keep your toes on the floor, lift the heels, take the heels back to the floor, lift, hold on to the side of your chair. Now, as you take those legs up, those feet, heels are up, um, feel that little squeeze there at the back of your calves. So squeeze in, 
physically squeeze 10 times. So you've got five more, so one, squeeze. Two, think about squeezing, three. Four, squeeze it. Last one, five. You should fill these muscles here, the calf muscles. And there aren't that many exercises that we can do for the calf muscles, but we need to get them strong, help you get up the stairs. So, nice bit of strength work there. Okay. The next one we're going to do, uh, see how you get on with it. Um, I'll give you this one to do. It's something you can have a bit of fun with it. Holding onto the side of the chair. Still good posture. Check your posture before you go off on any of these exercises. Keep those shoulders down nice and relaxed. We're going to take our feet off the floor and we're going to do small circles as if we're cycling. So, let me see. Now, I'm trying not to move the body too much. Small circles. So you can do that for say 30 seconds. Try not to touch the floor. So keep it up. You've got five more seconds to go. And down. Ooh. So that's a cycling, seated cycling. So small circles. <clears throat> Again, you can do another set of those if um, if you feel that uh, you're able to do, say, 20, 30 seconds at a time. Uh, so we're going to work a little bit of flexibility and mobility. So take the foot straight out, arms in front of you, one on top of the other, and I just want you to lean towards, <coughs> slowly and controlled, lean towards your toe, <coughs> straight back. Don't arch your back, don't dip it. Straight towards your toe. Slowly unfurl yourself, using your tummy muscles to bring you back. And another. Towards that toe, stretching it out. Just going down as far as you can. You may not be able to get down that far. It doesn't matter. Just keep trying. Let's go to the other foot. Um, the more you do, the better you will get. So. Don't give up, cross your hands, reaching towards, straight leg, this leg is straight, I'm leaning towards it, and up, using my tummy muscles to bring me back up, and down again. So that's toe reaches. So now we're gonna start moving a little bit more again. Don't you think that you're, you're on to a break? So next move, we're gonna do a pull down. I'm gonna alternate lifting our knees and it looks like this. So pull down, knee lifts, brace your tummy. Keep it nice and strong. Big movement this is, even though you're seated, you can see you using your arms, using your legs. You've got your core working as well. So, we're going to do another eight of these. So we've got four more. One, two, three, four. Take a little pause. So, if you feel that, you can feel your heart rate go up. Slight breathlessness. Is it too much? So your heart rate's working quite hard. All of your muscles. Doing your strength and mobility, so excellent. Keep up the good work. We all love these. Sit to stand. Same position. Good posture. Feet uh, just slightly wider than shoulder width. Take them just slightly underneath the chair. We're going to use our legs to try and bring us up. Um, and a nice long flat back. A bit of technique going on here. So, using those legs, push yourself up nice and straight. We're going to do eight sit to stands. Try not to let gravity make you drop down. Try and control it. So, you're halfway there, through there. So, nice and tall. Squeeze straight at the back top. Two more to do.
Uh, just to add a little bit more of a dimension to it, if you don't want to do this, that's fine, um, but just it makes it a bit more fun. We're going to do uh, four sit-to stands, but we're going to do an overhead clap. So, uh, challenge your balance a little bit. So, here we go. Off we go. One. Two. Toes in. Three. Uh, clap. Squeeze at the top. Last one. Well done. Now you can do that faster. I'm tending to slow it down just to try and demonstrate to you. So, nice and tall. We're just going to circle that body. So, we're going to... Do a trunk circle, circling it around. This is staying still. It's just the upper body. You're probably going to feel that slight turning motion, bottom of your spine, just releasing the spine off. Take it back the other way. So, rotating that trunk around. It's quite nice. Oh gosh, I do have a squeaky, squeaky chair today, don't I? <laughs> and last one. Bring yourselves back upright. Just give yourselves a little shoulder roll and back. And then we're going to do some trunk twists. We've done these already, but what we'll do is we'll uh, take hold of the back of the chair. So this side, take hold of the back of the chair, and with this hand you're taking it across, holding on to the chair down here, turning towards this way, bring your hands on. Hold on the back, side of the chair, this way, nice and tall. Feel that nice stretch through your back, other side. And if you don't have a chair that you can do this in, just bring your arms up and you can rotate eight of those we've done four already so last one just that upper body rotation another few circles forwards and another few circles backwards I'll turn straight up to you now because I need the room now we're going to take our arms down by our sides so you've got your thumbs facing forward, nice and tall. We're going to take our arms straight up, pursing towards our ears and down. Try not to move the whole body. We're making it a movement from your arm and your shoulders. So if you do have a problem with your shoulder, take it to here. For those of you that are okay, close to your ears and up. You'll feel a big stretch at the back of your shoulders. Arms down by your side, now we're going to take our palms facing out and you're going to go up and over and touch. Again, any shoulder problems, you can go to this part here, that's fine. We're going to go over. Sitting nice and tall folks, tummy's in. Control the last one up and then bringing it down. Just bring your hands in front of you, just slightly uh, below hip height, uh, sorry, shoulder, chest height. <laughs> um, and we're going to flutter your hands. We're going to go about 12 inches, so it looks like that. Now, when I ask you to, I want you to go a little bit quicker. So when you're ready, flutter with me. So let's flutter. So just keeping that torso nice and tight under control, fluttering from the shoulders and the hands, elbows, shoulder joints working here. Keeping those arms straight so you've got another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Arms down by your side, could feel a little bit of burning there, that's fine. A few more shoulder rolls and forward. And we've just got a few little uh, little exercises to do with our arms, upper body. Uh, just two lots of these. Um, the first one is a palm push. So you've got your palms facing one another, 
chest height and away from your chest, probably four or five inches away from your chest. Now keep those shoulders down. Don't do this. Let them sink right down. Relax into this, but keep that tummy brace. Breathe in nice and rhythmically. Now I want you to push the palms against one another. And as you do that, you'll feel a tightening of the muscles around the shoulders and into the uh, chest, the pectoral muscles, and release it off. Everything goes released. Hands stay in that position. Try it again. Push, 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 push. Release off. Push again, bang, release. Ooh. So you've worked here and here. So at home you can try more of those if you want, just to work these muscles, strengthen them up. Just remember to keep those shoulders down and relax so because if you've got them up here, you can cause yourselves uh, some discomfort. So the next move, uh, next part of the exercise, elbow in. Um, on uh, 90 degrees. Now you're going to do some arm wrestling with yourself because you're in self-isolation so if you can't wrestle with yourself how hey, who can you wrestle with? So palm facing up this one on this arm is going to go over that hand. So we're going to fold our fingers from the bottom fold our fingers around the top. Shoulders square Re release those shoulders down and I want you to push down with this arm this elbow is really tucked in, brace the biceps. You can feel those biceps bracing. Push this hand down against the one that's got the elbow in the side. Push, release. Can you feel that? Yeah, you can, can't you? You don't need any weights, you're moving all those muscles, working those muscles, they're contracting. Try again, pushing down, brace your tummy, elbow into the side, contract those biceps, release. One more, pressing down. Onto the other side, same thing again. Arm wrestle with yourself, pushing it down, shoulders down, release. Push it down and again. Brace everything, this is your last one. Release it off. Okay, fingers linked in front of you arms straight out, don't let the fingers go but just pull, pull apart, you feel a stretch across the back of your shoulders. Taking it into the air, same thing, lift right up, lift your rib cage, you can feel the whole of your body stretching, you feel perhaps a little bit of tension around your shoulders, but we're stretching the whole length of your torso out, bringing it back down. Release your fingers, one arm, out, cross your chest, shoulders down and relax, hold above or below your elbow. We're just going to hold it there for a few seconds. We're going to support that up and over. A little bit of a push here, got our triceps there, you can feel that. Stretch those triceps out, so we're doing this cool down just to get the muscles Really relaxed, elongate them a little bit more. Other side, arm out, straight across the chest. And it helps avoid any muscle soreness. So, um, and if we can avoid muscle soreness, that'll make you want to do exercises again. It's when we have those real bad episodes of all soreness for days. Put some people off. Um, don't let it, it's all part of the natural process. Taking that arm up, pushing it over. A little stretch on the triceps. So as I was saying, you will get some soreness. Um, I mean, if you're getting really exaggerated soreness, then you need to back off a little bit. But do expect, if you're doing exercises, bringing it down, that you haven't done before, you'll get a little bit of muscle tightness. So stretching down to one side, sideways movement. Try not to lean forward or backwards. Just reaching this finger down. You could take your other arm over. That will increase the stretch. You feel it there more. And up we go on to the other side. And we're nearly finished. And bring your thighs up. Stretching the foot out. Heel into the floor. You can't see me. A little bit. Um, 
toe, flex that toe up towards your head. You're feeling stretched down the back of your leg. Uh, lean forward a little bit to increase that stretch. Can you feel it there? This is where we're trying to feel, feel the stretch. On to the other side. Straight leg out. Heel, push it into the floor. Toe, try and flex it up towards your head. Lean forward. Bring yourselves up. Nice deep breath. Let everything relax. Deep breath. Take your arms up. Stretch your knot. Arms around. Blow out. One more time. Deep breath. Last little stretch. And we've got this, I don't to, to sort of uh, to short change or anything. So um, hands on your small of your back, open your chest out, release it off. Well done, everybody. Um, excellent work. If you stayed with me, try doing the exercises again. Um, the more you do, the better you'll be. Keep moving, stay safe. Thanks for joining me and hope to see you very soon. Bye.